Hi guys. So I just got done doing our whole social studies and science workbook and the video disappeared. I'm not exactly sure what happened. So we're going to try it again, but I did write in there. So I will do my best to make it so that I'm not just giving away the answers. I'm so sorry. That was such a bummer. I got done and I looked and it was not on anymore. So very disappointing. All right. In your social studies and science notebook, now open it up. For most of you, the first section is going to say social studies. Um, if you came later in the year, it may be in a different section, and that's okay. Just find social studies. And then we're going to turn the pages until we get to page 28. Page 28. And on page 28, it says, on your map, show your school your playground, and the parking lot. Draw the streets around your school. Okay, look at your map. Write one reason why this is a good place to have a school. All right, so I drew as much of the school as I could get. It faces out towards the street on Ward Road. This is a parking lot. This is the office, the gym for PE, the music room, and this is third grade's room. Over here's the playground. So in the legend, I made a star for Mrs. M's room, um, a music note for the music room, a basketball for the PE room, a little house for the office, and then roads up here, and a parking lot right here. All right, so that's what I did. I labeled it. So um, if you would please pause the video and get that done too. Um, it says, look at your map, write one reason why this is a good place to have a school. And I said, it is easy to get to, and we have lots of space. All right. So I'm going to open this up a little bit and let you see everything and hit pause if you need to. If you want to copy anything off of mine, if you want to do your own, completely fine. All right. On to the next page. This says, study the map, fill in the missing information in the legend and on the compass rows. Answer the questions. All right. So, um... We needed to label this, which says food. So I wrote grocery store. This has little gas pumps, so I wrote gas. This is a school and a cafe and a forest. I did need to do the compass rows. So what do we call this direction up here? North, south, east, west. Okay. Never eat soggy waffles. All right. On the bottom, it says, how is this map the same as your map of your school community? How is it different from your map? So I said, this map is like my school map because it shows buildings and roads. My map is of one place, but the small town map is a big place with lots of things. And I said small town because there's the title up there. All right. So if you want to just... Um, Pause so you can get things written down that you want to um, copy from mine. Such a bummer. I'm so sorry. Wish the video hadn't stopped. All right. And then we went to this next page and it says, read the text and study the images. Answer the questions. So natural resources. They come from the environment. They are used to make goods and services. Some natural resources are wood, water, coal, and cotton. Okay, human resources. Pe people who do work, they make goods. They sell goods or services. Some are a farmer, a factory worker, a car salesperson, a baker. And the last resource is capital resources. They are goods that we use to make other goods and services. Some are a building, a a tractor, a factory machine, or tools. So the first question was, which choices are not natural resources? And so if we look, pumpkin, cotton, and wheat, those are things that grow. Coal, gold, or silver, those are things that you can mine from the ground. Toy car, doll, and computer, that's something that has to be created from other goods. Um, water, wood, and blueberries, those are things that grow out side as well. So toy car, doll, and computer is the one that is not a natural resource. 
What are human resources? Machines that do jobs, tools used to do jobs, natural resources used for jobs, people who do jobs. Looking up here, human resources, people who do work. Right there, people who do jobs. Number three says, which ones are capital resources? Capital resources right here. Okay. Copper, brass, and tin are things you can mine out of the ground. Factory machines, that lists that. Trees, cotton, and other plants. We've listed those as natural resources. Teachers and mechanics would be human resources. So the factory machine is the only one. So C, D, and B. All right. And then... We skipped back to geography and we went through and every page in geography is finished. If you're missing a certain page, if you email me and say geography um, page 13, then I can send a, a picture to you so you can get it filled in. And then we have the section for science. Same thing, if you're missing any pages, you can email me what page number and what section it is in and I can take a picture and send it to you, okay? All right, so what we talked about was, why does a cactus have needles? So I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you so that you can hear the story since I did it already with you with the, with the pages here. The needles on a cactus called spines are actually a kind of leaf. The spine is an adaptation of a regular leaf to help the cactus survive in the desert. Just as there are different kinds of leaves, there are different kinds of cactus spines. Some help the cactus collect rain. These long spines direct water to the cactus's roots. Other kinds of spines grow thickly over the cactus. They protect it from the sun and help keep the cactus from drying out. Water is less likely to evaporate if the sun is not shining directly on the cactus's skin. I drew a little picture of like what, what a cactus might start to look like. And then if it gets one of these arms, it's been alive for a hundred years. Okay, the saguaro cactus. So they have some of those cactuses down in Arizona. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cactuses. Okay, check the box next to the word that completes each sentence. So number one, spines are an adaptation of leaves, roots, or flowers. It's leaves. Some spines on a cactus help collect sunlight, water, or sand. It said water. Some kinds of spines protect the cactus from rain, cold, or sunlight. It said it protects it from the sunlight so it doesn't dry out the skin. Okay, so leaves, water, and sunlight. And then B says, predict what would happen to the leaves of a regular plant in, in the desert. And I wrote, a regular leaf in the desert would dry up and crack without shade and water. Should be an E. Without shade and water. All right. You can freeze this page, pause this page, and copy down what I said, or you can write your own thing. It's up to you. And that's where we're going to stop for today. All right. So we're going to put that away. And I'm going to come back. Hopefully everything's recording correctly this time. Fingers are crossed. <sighs> Looks like we're good. Okay. Um, so we are done. What we've done today is our morning work, our vocabulary, our readers, reading interactive notebook, our read aloud, our math lesson, and our social studies and science video. Um, and then also you've watched your morning work video or your morning message video. So that is all you have to do today for videos. You just need to finish your questions and reading on Charlotte, or not Charlotte's Web, Mouse and the Motorcycle, Chapter 12, and your math question. All right. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. And also, don't forget to check out our video about our surprise that's been happening.